Welcome to our YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonaline. Now, dito na tayo sa general information. 25 item ito at galing ito sa isa sa ating mga followers na sinisend niya sa atin, pinipm niya sa atin, kaya hindi ko i-reveal kung sino siya. Kung napapansin niyo sa ating mga posts sa FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonaline, Kadalasan na latest na post natin ay regarding dito sa mga constitution, si mga ganyan. Kasi naghahanap ako ng mga sagot dito sa 25 item na ito at wala naman talaga akong alam kung meron man mas maganda pa rin basahin natin yung mismong mga constitutions. Now, doon tayo sa coverage of exam. Kung magte-take kayo ng professional at subproof, dapat alamin niyo yung mga coverage. Under sa general information, nakasulat mismo dyan yung Philippine Constitution, yung 1987, Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards for Public Officials and Employees, Peace and Human Rights Issues and Concepts, tapos env Environment Management and Protection, as in lahat ng yan lalabas sa mismong actual na exam. Basahin nyo lang yan. Marami na tayo na post sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Luna Lin at pati na rin sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. So anyway, para sa mga bago pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. Na huwag na kayong mag-PM dyan kasi tambak na yan ang mga messages. Kung mayroon kayong concern, pwede kayong mag-message dito sa ating FB. Ito na yung FB page natin na Free Reviewers Managed by Luna Lin. At sa mga naghahanap ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta kayo sa files sa FB group na to na Philippine Civil Service Review for All na FB group. Now, let's do number one. Carbon dioxide may not be a pollutant since... It is not toxic, but does it damage the Earth's atmosphere? Is it A, it affects road visibility? Is it B, it causes smog? Pariho lang tong dalawa. Smog means a fog made heavier and darker by smoke and chemical fumes. Is it letter C, it causes strong odor? Letter D, it could increase the air temperature. Is it E? It does not support combustion. The answer here is letter D. It could increase the air temperature. Next, number two. Which of the following alternative sources of energy will not cause air pollution? Is it A, biomass energy? Is it B, geothermal energy? Is it C, nuclear energy, D, solar energy, or is it E, thermal energy? Mas magandang basahin nyo kung ano yung mga, kung ano yung mga energy, energy na yan tong lima na to. Anyway, ang tamang sagot dito ay letter D. Pero kung sa palagay nyo hindi yan yung tamang sagot, paki-comment na lang at paki-share kung ano ba talaga Yung tamang sagot regarding dito sa number 2. Next, number 3. Biodegradable solid waste can be best disposed of through. Is it A, burning? B, composing? Is it C, incineration? D, segregation? E, treatment? The answer here is B, composing. Number 4. Which of the following rights for women is violated when a certain government agency issues a hiring providing for the preference of men over women applicant? A. Freedom from discrimination. Is it B. Freedom from violence? C. Right to employment. D. Right to participate. E. Right to Representation Para masagot nyo to, basahin ang kabuang Republic Act Number no. 9710 Nakapost ito sa ating FB page na uh, Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalin Ang sagot dito ay letter D. Right to Participate 
Now, kung sa palagay nyo, mali ang sagot natin dito, paki-comment na lang. Next, number five. Which of the following is allowed according to the age, anti-age discrimination in employment? Employment last. Is it A, to cause the publication of age, qualification, and social media for a work to be performed? B. To give more training opportunities for younger employees rather than older ones who will be retiring soon. Is it C. To impose a compulsory retirement age for employees. D. To require certain age group to apply as a bona fide occupational qualification. Or is it letter E. To require the applicants to submit birth Certificates as proof of date of birth and age. The answer here is letter D. To require a certain age group to apply as a bona fide occupational qualification. Anyway, kung sa palagay nyo mali yung sagot natin, basahin nyo yung kabuan sa RA number 10911. Next, number six. Which of the following entities are exempted from paying taxes? Is it A, charitable institutions, B, government offices, C, local government unit, D, state universities and colleges, E, United Nations organizations, letter E, charitable institutions. Next, number seven. Government agencies shall ensure the effective and efficient use of government resources in order to, is it A, avoid wastage, B, conserve resources, is it C, create surplus, D, live within the budget, is it E, reduce expenditure. Ang sagot dito ay letter C, create surplus. Ito yung nakikita kong sagot. Meron kasi akong nabasa regarding sa basic concepts in budgeting. Naka-PDF form siya, kaya pinupost ko yan sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. So, nasa file siya sa FB group na yan. Ang nakalagay regarding sa itong mga government resources na... Government agencies shall ensure the effective and efficient use of government resources in order to create surplus. Anong meron dito sa surplus? The surplus budget policy, pasahin ko lang, is important to encourage economic growth. The less the government borrow from the public, the lesser the pressure on interest and inflation rates. Medyo mahaba pa to. So, yung sineshare ko sa inyo doon sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All, punta lang kayo sa files para basahin nyo yung kabuuan nito. Otherwise, kung iba yung sagot nyo, comment na lang. Next, number 8. One born before 17 January 1973. To a Filipino mother should elect to become a Filipino citizen? Is it A. Before entering grade school in the country? B. Upon reaching the age of majority? C. Upon turning 15 years old? D. When attaining age of discernment? E. While still a minor and under the care of the Filipino mother. Nakapost na ito sa ating FB page. The Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn. Ang sagot dito ay letter B. Upon reaching the age of majority. Next, number 9. The following officials may be removed from office by impeachment except 
Is it A, members of the Supreme Court, B, ombudsman, C, president, D, senators, E, vice president? According sa 1987 Constitution article, nasa article number 2, basahin nyo yan. Ang sagot dito ay letter D, senators. Yan lang yung wala sa mga choices. I mean, wala sa mga list doon na binanggit dito sa Article 2. Next, number 10. Who among the following is not eligible to be appointed as member of the Commission of Human Rights? Is it A, a certified public accountant? born in 1972 to a Filipino mother who later elected Filipino citizenship? Is it B, a Filipino coming from the ranks of non-governmental organizational sector? Is it C, a lawyer whose parents are both Filipinos? D, a natural-born Filipino or A, a naturalized Filipino? Ang sagot dito ay itong letter B, a Filipino coming from the ranks of the non-governmental organization sector. Tapos, para sa detalye, basahin yung Executive Order 163. Next, number 11. To support his schooling, Ben, a minor, wants to work as house health in Mrs. Reyes household. Ben can be hired provided that he is at least Nabasa nyo ba yung ating post sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All pati na rin doon sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin. Pinopost natin yung kasambahay yung regarding sa, kambahay, sa kasambahay. Now, yung working children refers to kasambahay who are 15 years old and above pero below 18. So, therefore, 15 to 18. Yung tanong, Ben can be hard provided that he is at least, yung least na yan, kasi to ay 15, 16, 17, 18, least ay 15 years old. Now, Mas magandang basahin nyo yung pinopost natin regarding sa batas kasambahay kasi malamang sa sunod na exam, pwedeng hindi ito mismo yung lalabas. Iba yung lalabas pero part pa rin siya doon sa batas kasambahay. Pwede rin at most. Pwede yung tanong ay at most. Or marami pa kasing nandoon under sa batas kasambahay. Next, number 12. The right to health is defined as the person's right to a access to renewable renewable health package benefits b appropriate health facilities goods and services c culturally appropriate, appropriate medical curriculum d membership to health maintenance organization e rest and recreation According sa Philippine 1987 Constitution, ang sagot dito ay itong letter B, appropriate health facilities, goods and services. Letter B. Pero anyway, kung iba yung sagot nyo, comment na lang. Number 13. During election. A politician wants to donate a new building with complete facilities to our department in exchange for support for the politician's political party. If the employees will accept the offer, again, if the employees will accept the offer, they will violate the norms of conduct under Republic Act 6713. Marami ding lumabas under dito sa Republic Act 6713. Na-post na rin natin ito sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Kaya hanapin nyo yan. Is it A. Justness and Sincerity? B. Nationalism and Patriotism? C. Political Neutrality? D. Responsiveness to the Public? E. Simple Living? 
Ang tamang sagot dito ay itong letter A, justness and sincerity. Kaya basahin ito mismong Republic Act number no. 6713. Marami dyan ang posible o lumabas na talaga dati sa mismong civil service exam. Kaya basahin yung Republic Act 6713. Next, number 14. The greatest risk in prematurely disclosing a draft policy, a draft policy decision is to A. Deprive a person of a right to fair trial. B. Endanger the stability of financial institutions. C. Frustrate the implementation of a proposed action. D. Preempt the spokesperson who is responsible for disclosing such matters. E. Start shooting war. Ang tamang sagot dito ay itong letter B. Endanger the stability of financial institutions. Hindi ko na explain yung detalye nito, basahin nyo na lang yung RA 6713 at pakicomment na lang kung in case hindi letter B yung sagot nyo dito. Next, number 15. The statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth promotes the observance of the norms of conduct of public officials and employees. From among the standards of personal conduct, it's Best entails A. Commitment to democracy B. Commitment to public service C. Justness and sincerity D. Political neutrality E. Simple living Ang sagot dito ay A. Commitment to democracy Again, ito ay nasa RA 6713 Next Number 16, the ozone layer, lagi na itong ulit sa exam, refers to the lower portion of uh, the stratosphere which acts as a shell to protect Earth's surface by absorbing harmful ultraviolet radiation. Which of the following is considered an ozone depleting substance? Is it A, carbon monoxide, B, freons, tama ba yung pagka-pronounce ko nito? C, nitrogen oxide, D, oxygen, E, sulfur dioxide. Ang tamang sagot dito ay letter D. Ito ay nag-contain ng chlorofloric, chlorofloric, kasi binasa ko to chlorofloric carbon, na ito yung pinaka number 1 na nakakasira sa ating ozone layer. Next number 17. Under the 1987 Philippine Constitution. What duty of Filipino parents spe specifically merits the support of government? Is it A. Freeing their children from any form of child labor? Is it B, loving their children without reservations? C, rearing their children for civic efficiency? D, sparing their children from corporal punishment? E, supporting their children until they can stand on their own? Ang sagot dito ay letter C. Ang pinaka detalye nito nasa article... Number 2, section number 12 sa Philippine Constitution, yung 1987 na Philippine Constitution. Kaya importante magbasa. Next, number 18. Which of the following pollutants reduce the quality of water in rivers? Is it A, household and industrial sewage and waste? Wastes. B. Laundries using excessive detergents. C. Mining waste. D. Oil spill from barge and oil tanks. E. Power plants that cause thermal pollution. Lahat ng ito ay 
makakos, makaridus sa quality sa water. Pero yung sagot ko dito, ito kasi yung pinaka uh, worst, mining waste. So anyway, kung iba yung sagot nyo, comment na lang. Next, number 19. If an employee resigns from a government agency, which of the following premises is correct as regards the filing or non-filing of the statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth, o itong tinatawag na SALN. Is it A, the employee is no longer required to file SALN since he or she is no longer a government employee? Is it B, the employee is not anymore required to file SALN since the resignation effectively in excluded the employee from the coverage of RA number 671? Three. C. The employee is still required to file SALIN on or before 30th day of April of the succeeding year. Is it D. The employee is still required to file SALIN within 30 days after resignation. Is it E. The employee may no longer file SALIN with his or her former agency and just secure clearance from accountabilities therefrom. Kung nabasa nyo yung ating post sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin, masasagutan nyo itong number 19. At ang tamang sagot dito ay itong letter D. The employee is still required to file style in within 30 days after resignation. So ito yung tamang sagot. Next, Number 20. A major source of population is due to the use of non-renewable energy. So, nandyan pa rin yung mga non-renewable e energy. Such as, so saan kaya dito? Is it letter A, biomass, B, uh, fossil fuel, C, hydropower, solar energy, or is it E, wind power? Ang tamang sagot dito ay letter B. Pakicomment na lang kung iba yung sagot nyo. Next, 21. Putting loyalty to country above personal or party loyalty, as well as manifesting by deeds the supremacy of civilian authority over the military, are elements of which norm of conduct under RA number 6713. So, mas magandang basahin yung itong kabuang RA 6713. Is it A. Commitment of democracy. B. Commitment to public interest. C. Nationalism and patriotism. D. Political neutrality. E. Professionalism. Ang tamang sagot dito ay commitment kulangan ng ti commitment of democracy. Next, number 22. One of the remedies available to women who is a victim of violence under RA 9262 is to seek the issuance of a protection order. The protection order that may be issued under this law are the Barangay Protection Order, Temporary Protection Order, and Permanent Protection Order. The following may file the petition order except. Is it A, at least two concerned responsible citizens? B, health care provider of the offended party? C, parents or guardians of the offended party? D, ponong barangay or barangay kagawad? E, the offended party. Sa mismong, kung nabasa nyo yung mismong post natin regarding dito, lahat ng ito ay tama. Kaso lang, except. So, hanapin natin yung nagpapa-except dito. Itong letter A. Ang tama ay at least two concerned responsible citizens. Tama yan siya. Pero, 
Paanong naging mali, kulang kasi, dapat yung two concerned responsible citizens dapat galing sa mismong same city or municipality where the violence against women and their children occurred who have personal knowledge of the offense committed. Yan yun. Yan yung kulang dito. Kaya ang exempt natin ay itong si letter A. Next, 23. The maintenance of peace and order, the protection of life, liberty, and property, the promotion of general welfare are essential for, is it A, civic efficiency and the development of moral, moral character, B, national security which promotes peace and development, C, sovereignty to reside in the people, D, enjoyment by all the people of all blessings of democracy, E, the promotion of social justice in all phases of national development. Now, kung binasa nyo yung kabuang uh, 1987 Philippine Constitution, nasa article, nasa article 2, section 5. Ang tamang sagot dito ay itong letter D. The enjoyment by all the people of all blessings of democracy. Next, 24. What would happen if the president vetoes an approved bill? Is it A, the author gets mad at the president? B, the author holds a rally at Malacanang? C, the bill is disapproved? D, the bill is sent to the court? E, the principal author discusses the bill in Congress. Now, kung binasa niyo yung kabuang Philippine Constitution, ulit, 1987 Philippine Constitution, a bill may be vetoed by the President, but the House of Representatives may overturn a presidential veto by gardening two-thirds vote if the President does not act on a proposed law submitted by Congress. It will lapse into law after 30 days of receipt. So, ang tamang sagot dito ay itong letter E. The principal author discusses the bill in Congress. Next, number 25. Leonelin, sinulat ko lang yung pangalan ko dito. Iba yung pangalan nandun. Leonelin has invested her savings by buying a suitable number of shares in a private company. Not long after, she found employment in the government to avoid any conflict of interest she decided to cede all rights over the shares to a daughter of her cousin who paid for them at a lower price was the divestment proper is it a no the divestment should have been Accompanied by resignation from any position in the private company. No, the divestment should have been made to any person other than spouse and all relatives. Is it C, the facts presented are insufficient to arrive at a definite answer? Is it C, yes, the divestment is proper because it was for a monetary consideration is it e yes the divestment is proper since her cousin's daughter is not within fourth degree of blood relations basahin ang ra 6713 at kayo na ang humusga kung saan dito ang tamang sagot pero anyway ang sagot ko dito ay itong letter b no the divestment should have been made by uh, to any person other than spouse and all relatives. Hindi siya pwede sa mga relatives. Uh, kapag, lalo na within fourth degree. Ang nabanggit dito ay yung daughter of her cousin. Uh, within yan sa fourth degree. Pero kung may mali man ako, paki-comment na lang ko anong sagot niyo dito sa number 25. 
Kung ilan may yung score nyo, paki-comment na lang para naman masaya yung comment section natin. So anyway, balikan natin yung scope of examination dito sa civil service exam. General Information Item Itong Philippine Constitution 1987 Kabisaduhin nyo yan Basahin nyo kung pwede lang I-memorize nyo hala I-memorize nyo Code of Conduct and Ethical Standards For Public Officials And Employees Peace and Human Rights Issues and Concepts then, yung environment management and protection. So, ano mga mga RARA na mga binanggit natin? Meron tayong RA9710, tapos maraming RA6713, RA9262, meron ding Executive Order 163 yung nabanggit natin dito. So anyway, thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.